Hi everyone, this is Alicia McFarland from aliciamcfarland.com. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can optimize your images for your website prior to uploading them to the website using Photoshop. So I'm here on pixabay.com. It's a great resource for free images and royalty-free stock. I've downloaded this picture of a bald eagle. And when I chose to download, I picked this large 1.4 meg version. And so I'm going to go over to Photoshop just so that I could show you the difference in the file size. Um, normally, I wouldn't upload that, that size, but if you have a large image and you need to reduce it for your website, this is how you do it. So you open up the file that you want to change. You go to File, Export, Save for Web Legacy. That's going to open up a pop-up window. And you're going to kind of see a big blob because it's kind of zoomed in on the image. And you'll notice that it's um, quite large and it's going to take 74 seconds to download if I chose to use this medium version. And the main culprit right here is the size. So let's say you wanted to reduce the size to like a standard 1024. And as soon as you change that, it's going to, these are linked, so it's going to change the height as well. You'll notice that the image inside of the box has changed so that you can actually see it because it's reduced it down. And you'll also notice that the file size down here has reduced and the uploading time has reduced as well. Now you also have options up here if you wanted a higher quality image or you'd rather have a ping if you have transparency that you want to retain. You can change that here and then that would automatically adjust those so that it, you would know how much um, you were reducing it. And then um, just make sure you have the optimize checked and make sure the image size is the dimensions that you want it to be. Then you just click save. It's going to prompt you to save it. I suggest saving it with a name that's easy to realize that it's the smaller version. And there you have it. When you go to upload that file, you're going to notice that, so this is the original one that I um, downloaded from pixabay.com, and here's the optimized version. So that's going to load a lot faster on your site. You're still going to have quite a nice quality of image and your visitors aren't going to notice any difference other than your website's really fast and they're going to appreciate that. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions after you've watched this video about optimizing images, please feel free to reach out to me at aliciamcfarland.com. Thanks so much for watching and have a wonderful day.